Hey guys, Steve Harris here. Today I'm going to show you how to build a testimonial slider. So basically we're going to do a scrolling text slider and we're going to include customer testimonials in that slider. Now, we don't have a widget specifically for building this, but what we can do is actually use an image slider widget and apply blank background images to it and use the captions as the testimonials. So let me show you how to make this happen. So I've got a blank page set up here for testimonials and I'm going to go over to the widgets panel and I'm gonna look for the image slider widget. Let's drag that out into a new row down here. And by default, it includes some sample images. Let's just delete all of those out. Okay, the next thing I've done is in Photoshop, I've created a blank image. Now I sized this at about 1000 by 300 pixels, but I've just applied white as the background color. The color you use doesn't matter because we can actually apply an overlay within Architect and change it to anything we need. So I've just gone ahead and used white here. I've also exported this out as a PNG and I just called it blank.png. So this blank image is only two kilobytes. We want something nice and small and two kilobytes is perfect. So now that I've created that, let's go back to Architect and I'm going to apply that blank image as an image in the slider. So if I click this plus button to upload an image from the computer and I'll select the blank image and open it, it's going to upload to our library. Then the checkbox is applied and we can click done and that adds that in as an image. I'm going to add it in the second slot as well and we'll include a third testimonial using the same one. Okay, perfect. So if I close this box now, you can see we have an image slider and we have some captions over top. And we can transition between the different images and display different captions. So let's include our testimonials as the captions for these images. So I'm going to click on this box to go back in. We'll select our first image and I'm going to look at the image settings. So of course we have the ability to replace or edit it. We've got position, which doesn't matter. We can add a link to the slide and then we've got the title, caption and button. We can turn any of these on and off by clicking these eyeball icons, but I'm going to leave them all on for now. And let's just go ahead and add our captions in. So I've got my captions here or my testimonials in a Word document. And I'm just going to copy and paste them in. So that's the title. And here's the testimonial below that. And then our button, let's just say something like read more. Okay, perfect. I'm going to do the same for the second image here. We'll just do two for now. And I'll change the button again and done. So let's close this and have a look. So in our preview, we've got our testimonials here and they are the captions and we're just transitioning between the two. So it's looking really good, but of course the style settings are a little strange how this box is gray and we need to do some tweaking here. So let's go back to the editor and if I click on the box, we'll go into the design tab and let's see some of the options we have here. So first we have layout. I'm happy with the layout, so I'm not going to change that. We've got text styles below. I'm going to change my description from white because I'm going to change the background box to be white as well. So let's just change our text to gray. Then as I scroll down, we've got button style. So I'm going to make the button a little bit wider there. Okay, here we go. We've got background color for the button. I'm going to leave that as the gradient. If we keep going, we get down to overlay color. And basically this is the color that's overlaying the image behind. So right now it's gray and it's got about a 25% opacity setting. Well, I could just change this to no overlay. And then we're going to get whatever color we had applied in Photoshop. Or of course, what I could do is apply a color as the overlay. And if my opacity set at 100%, it's going to completely recolor that background image. So I'm going to just turn it off for now. So it's just like that. That looks good. And now my captions are showing up really well. And you'd never know that we used an image as the background. The only other thing I'm going to change here, if we keep going in the design settings, is the arrows. We've got a couple arrows on the left and right, but they're hard to see because the color of them is set as white. So I'm going to use the thick arrow setting, and let's make the arrow color something like a gray. 
and we can even change the size of those arrows if we need. But now you can see when I hover over the box that we've got a nice substantial arrow so it's obvious to users they can transition between these captions. Then below that we have transition settings. We can fade or slide. I don't mind a fade but I think I want mine to fade in from the left. So let's change it to that. And if I preview this in the browser, now when I scroll between my various testimonials, they look really good and it's a great way to show some social proof on your site and some customer quotes. And just remember, if you don't want this button, for example, when you go into the actual image setting, so if I click on the first image, it says button and I can turn that off by clicking on the eyeball icon. And there you go, now it's gone. Another thing to note on this is this is indeed real text. It's not image text or anything like that. So it's great for SEO. It's going to be indexed and read by search engines. So that's a way to make a simple testimonial slider just by using the image slider widget. Thanks for watching and best of luck with this technique.